The world of men and women is very clear that there is poison in people. There are people who like to play in the sidelines of life. They do that by pretending to be themselves, or are they actually being themselves? When you're yourself, you are usually full and whole. You are participating in a concept of life balance. You are not only the person that you are, but you may have responsibilities for children that you brought into this world. When you don't take reasonable responsibility for your children's behavior, then you're running away from your accountabilities. In life, we are somewhat responsible for our children if they're still in the teenage years, if they're still in that early college years, because usually we're the ones paying the bill. And openly, the federal government sort of allows us to because we claim them on taxes, don't you? Or were you poor in what you did with your paperwork? The truth is, in life, we have many things to do. But when people see poverty and do nothing, it shows us that there is no Jesus in you. What we're saying is people often like to say that I'm a Christian, so this is why I'm doing it. I'm like, oh, marvelous. So how did you show me your love today? How did you prove that you're of God today? How did you turn water into wine for me? How did you turn food into a plethora for me? How did you help me with your resources to get a job today? Or are you just trying to play at me? Well, this pays well, or that job's available, and that doesn't help to sell my soul to soar. Because everybody in life has a skill set. Everybody in life has a talent, but many times those things, those characteristics that make us us, can be used in a different way to produce a living. But only good people look for how to help people long term. Foolish people want to drive up and see, will somebody accept my food? Am I trustworthy enough? Or is this time of COVID going to impact whether or not someone's going to take my leftovers to make that person feel like I'm a dog to them? You see, when you're trying to help someone, it's pretty straightforward. And I've said this many, many times in videos, and for some reason, God wants me to keep saying it, that when you're trying to truly help someone, when you really have a care for someone, you actually ask them, how can I help you today? And then you look at your resources, and you look at your finances, and you look at your networks, and determine, can you, whether with your own or with someone else's, help someone today? Meaning, with your own finances, could you buy someone a $3 meal today? With you and with your own resource network, could you try to help someone find some work today? With you and your own opportunities, could you help someone to find a place to sleep today? You see, you're not thinking how to help people because you don't want to. But you're not thinking about what you can do for people because you don't care to. And openly, Jesus is watching the whole time, so you might be this marvelous Christian online, you might be this great person on Sundays, but you're still the same guy, walking by poverty going, I can't help you. Right? And God said that on the road to Samaria, didn't he? That the good Samaritan only helped one person is not true. That several people walked by that invalid, that person that had been hard and robbed and did nothing. But one good Samaritan stopped and gave him what? Food. Gave him water. Cleaned him up. Gave him money and put him up.